Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm excited to share with you my Walmart grocery haul. I've got all my groceries lined up on my table and I just got my Misfits Market box. And if you don't know what Misfits Market is, it's a subscription service that they send you organic produce and it is such a great price. So I can't wait to show you that as well. And I'm gonna go over my budget and meal plan for the week so that you can see how I'm gonna take all of those groceries and I'm gonna stretch it out to feed my family of five not only healthy meals but budget meals as well because I am not gonna pay more than my $180 weekly grocery budget that's not happening <laughs> so let me show you so from Walmart I got a bag of sweet potatoes three bunches of bananas which in this house will probably last you what three days <laughs> I was so glad about this substitution. They didn't have the cuties on the website, so I got regular clementines for uh, my son Brian because he loves these. He snacks on these all week, but his preference is the cuties. The ones that I got were actually a dollar cheaper, and then this was the substitution. I was like, score, save a dollar and get what you want. I got one bag of tomatoes. These are awesome, they're on vine, so delicious. I got a thing of honey. And this is the big one as usual, 32 ounces. And I'll go through that in a week. And that's for my tea, I love my tea. I got two gallons of organic whole milk. And I was so glad because last week they gave me two half gallons and then a gallon. And I don't know what it is about a half gallon, they fly in this house. I got three cans of the pineapple slices because I'm gonna make my pineapple fried rice. Two of these huge containers of organic strawberries and my son Brian already was looking at it as I'm pulling it out and he's like what are you gonna be done mom <laughs> and I already know what I'm getting from my Misfits Market box because I was able to customize it online and they were out of the organic English cucumbers which I love so instead I went and I added this to my Walmart cart and it is the um, organic mini cucumbers and I just want to know, have you guys tried these? Let me know in the comment section down below. I love trying new things, and most of the time, I love it. I got one can of the black olives for my salads. I got one container of cream cheese because I'm trying a crock pot soup recipe, and it calls for some cream cheese. And if it's a good recipe, the next time I make it, I'll share it. Now, I never get pumpkin spice, but this... Friday is my daughter's 16th birthday. I can't believe it. My sweet Jessie is going to be 16. And for some reason, what she asked for was for me to make her a pumpkin birthday cake. I've never tried that before. So I thought in case the pumpkin cake mix that I got doesn't turn out to be so great, I can make my own. So I got some pumpkin pie spice. Of course, it can't be a haul without me getting any more minced garlic. I actually ran out yesterday. So here we are. And I'm really low on ground cinnamon, so I picked one up. This should be the snack haul, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's the whipping cream for my coffee. Those are the salty and sweet almond bars that my husband and I love, and Emily loves it too. These are Jessie's favorite, and she snacks on them throughout the week. So I picked up one box, and this one has 12 in it. I think it's less than $4. It's three, I'm gonna say 49. Emily loves her Teddy Graham crackers, so I got her two boxes. We already went through this whole container for the second time in a month, <laughs> my husband and I, of some popcorn, so I was so happy that I got it, because if it was gonna be out, I was gonna cry. <laughs> I got more eggs, two containers of the organic cage-free 18 count. I am going to make some zucchini fritters, which I've shared that recipe before, and if you want to check it out, I'm gonna link it above. But I haven't made it since then, and honestly, I've been craving it. So I got some zucchinis because again, I already know that my Misfits Market box does not have zucchini in it. So I only picked up four because I don't want to have too many vegetables and have anything go bad on me. This was a substitution. I don't get the Pepperidge Farm. I get the Arnold's whole 100% um, whole wheat bread, but I guess they were out, so they gave me the Pepperidge Farm. Have you guys tried this one before? My kids are not going to be excited that they have the little bits of seeds on it, but oh well. <laughs> it's actually better for them, so I love it. This is the cake mix that I got. It's the only thing they had that was pumpkin. And again, I've never tried to make a pumpkin birthday cake before, 
So I'm really hoping this works out. But if it doesn't, I have a chocolate cake mix in my pantry that I'll add some spices to it, maybe the pumpkin pie spice, and try to make a good cake from that. But fingers crossed, this one works because it's a lot quicker. And because of that, I got more butter. I'm really running low on butter. And now, of course, the birthday girl. What do you want? She wants a box of these cookies. <laughs> so I got her one. She wants pierogies for breakfast, which I never do. But of course, you only turn 16 once. So I picked up three boxes because I know the kids are gonna go crazy for them. I was out of mozzarella cheese and I have one recipe that calls for it, but I also have some pizza crust in the freezer. In case we're running a little late for lunch, I can just put together a pizza, one, two, three. So I got three of these. Brian can't go a week without his string cheese. I picked up the small one because he's been going a little nuts with these and I don't want to get the, the big one is like 36 sticks. I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I got some feta cheese for my salads. And this was the only substitution I was a little disappointed in because I love the green tea with jinxen. I hope I said that right, and lemon, and they were out. So instead they sent me these. I, it still has lemon and it's still green tea, so I'll make the best of it, but I really hope I get my tea soon because I have it almost every night. We were running low on a toothpaste, so I picked one up for the pantry. And I was running really low on sour cream, and again, it's part of my soup recipe this week. So I picked up one to add to the soup and one to have extra because we can't keep sour cream in this house. I got my husband's oatmeal and Emily's Cheerios. And again, the birthday girl, what do you want? She wants some barbecue chips. Can you tell she's taking advantage that she's 16? <laughs> and I got this big thing of shampoo because I have two conditioners in uh, my stockpile, but I don't have any shampoo. So just in case we run out, I've got this big thing here. And last but not least, I was running really low on some cooking wine. And so I picked one up so I have it handy because I use it pretty much a lot of times with my recipes. And this is everything that I got at Walmart. And that sound you make and that sound you hear is Emily making sounds like she's gonna eat the potato chips. <laughs> I also got my Misfits box. I can't wait to show you what I got this week. That plus the grocery haul from Walmart is gonna get us through the whole week and possibly, I'm hoping 10 days. According to my meal plan, it's possible. <laughs> I always love the way they pack it, like with this big foam. Oh, they put two ice packs in there. I haven't seen that before. Normally they do one. And look how huge these ice packs are. Does that, mean I, does that mean I got more vegetables? <laughs> wow, look at all those greens. Now I already know what's in the box because I was able to select everything last week online and I even got a little treat. For $1.99, I have some of these packets of the Skinny Dip Almonds in dark chocolate mint and my husband loves these. So when I saw that there were only $1.99 for a few packs, I was like, yeah, absolutely. So let me get everything out of this box and show you what we got. But as you can tell already, look how healthy and delicious all these greens look. Look at everything that I got in this Misfits box. And these are two regular bathroom towels, not kitchen towels. <laughs> so I got two of these yellow squashes. I got 12 apples. Yes, I can count to 12. <laughs> I got my favorite are these plums. Do you guys like plums? Let me know in the comment section down below. This is definitely one of my favorite summer fruits. And I got two, four, six of them. I got these potatoes and although they do look like they have spots, I actually did scrub them. So, but these are gonna be delicious because again, I do taste a difference in organic potatoes. I don't know if I mentioned before, but all of these are organic too. And I got these great carrots. Look how huge these things are. And I got six of them. Now, look at this kale. Like, I can't say enough. I have to hold the camera back to show you how huge this is. And I got two big bunches. This will be enough for at least two side dishes. 
And me and my spring onions, or green onions, however people call them, I love these things. And I got two of them, and I'm almost out of what I got last week in my Misfits box. So this will definitely get me through for at least another week, maybe 10 days. These are organic green chard, and I have to actually read the label because I cook these the same way that I do the kale. Do you guys like chard? And if you do, how do you use them? I've seen them in some soups, but I don't make enough soup to be able to make this last. So I'm gonna definitely saute them with some garlic and onions and some pesto, and it comes out amazing. So I got two huge bunches. Look at this, again, I have to hold the camera back to show you how big they are. And as you can see, everything in this box is completely fresh, organic, and in this box, I actually did not find anything that's a misfit. Nothing with dents or any kind of miscoloration at all. And last week, I posted my two huge bunches of romaine lettuce and someone commented that they thought it was something else and i actually had to look because i'm ordering them now and i'm being able to specify exactly what i want and i did have to double check because when i ate it i didn't tell the difference and so i did check and it was romaine lettuce but this one's a lot smaller the one that i had last week were huge but still i need this because i'm running low on lettuce and I got a few comments last week about my red kale. First of all, that's purple. I'm sorry, that's not red. So I don't know why they call it red kale. I would call it purple kale if I was them. But anyway, this is delicious. There is something about red kale that's a little bit sweeter than regular kale. And again, I cook them up the same and it doesn't matter because I'm gonna have it as a side dish. But I am gonna try to come up with a different recipe for some kale because I don't want the kids to get bored with it being the same way. My husband and I can eat vegetables day and night. But anyway, this is everything that I got at Misfits Market. And the price, oh, I forgot, I'm sorry. And I did get some of this broccoli. I haven't had uh, any kind of different broccoli in a while. I used to love to get broccolini, but the kids actually didn't like it. And they said to me, can we just please not have broccolini? So I was like, okay, fine. But this was sweet baby broccoli. Have you guys had this one yet? I wonder if the taste is different. It does look like broccolini, doesn't it? Let me know in the comment section down below. You guys come up with great answers to some of my questions. Anyway, this is everything that I got. So my total for Walmart was $150.26. So that means that not only did I get all of those healthy produce, except the few extra snacks, of course, but I'm actually under budget by $29.74. So I'm gonna take that amount and I'm gonna throw it at our emergency fund because as I've mentioned before, we are so close to reaching the top of that emergency fund. I can just feel it. <laughs> So anyway, so I wanna share with you also my meal plan for the week. So you can see how I'm gonna make healthy meals for my family, and I'm also gonna be able to stretch those groceries to hopefully last more than a week. So I have my meal plan right here. I like to space out the meals that we cook meat in in between vegetarian meals because not only is it healthier for my family, but also because meat and chicken right now, the prices are crazy. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you're feeling it also. So on Sunday, I'm gonna make a zucchini bake. And I'm excited because I haven't made it yet, but I saw it on Pinterest and I really wanted to give it a try. On Monday, I'm gonna make my pineapple fried rice. And I shared that video before on my first what's for dinner and I'll link it above. On Tuesday, I'm making my butternut squash soup. And I shared that recipe as well and I'll leave it in the link. On Wednesday is actually gonna be our leftover day. And that's because I wanna make sure that those meals get completely eaten up before we move on. On Thursday, I'm making my chicken enchilada soup. I've only made that recipe two times in the past and the first time I made it a little spicy so I'm glad I didn't share it with you because <laughs> I'm sure the comments would have been like, Debbie, my mouth is on fire. But the second time I nailed it. So I'm gonna film that for you guys real soon. And the best thing about that recipe is it's a crock pot recipe. It is literally a dump and go. No need to brown anything beforehand, which I love, because I'm sorry, if I'm gonna be using my crock pot, it's because I have no time or I have other things to do and I just wanna dump everything in and have a delicious meal when we're ready to eat. And on Friday is my daughter's birthday. So we know that that's, since that's a special occasion, we're gonna get takeout that day. 
and on Saturday I'm gonna make my zucchini fritters and I shared that recipe also in the what's for dinner my first what's for dinner because I actually fooled my family in cooking a whole week's worth of vegetarian meals and they had no idea until they saw my video <laughs> so I'll link that above and I still have at least two other meals that I can come up with by just what I have on hand. And that's one of the tools that I use in order to take a week's worth of groceries and stretch it out even more. Because I know I'm gonna have leftovers of the chicken enchilada soup, I definitely am gonna have pineapple fried rice, and anytime I make any soup, like my butternut squash or my chicken noodle, those recipes always produce a large quantity so I know that we're gonna have it at least for two meals and I might even freeze the rest so I have a meal in the freezer for another busy day and that's my meal plan for the week please let me know in the comment section down below which one of those recipes you want me to share with you I love sharing budget-friendly meals I'm gonna leave my link down below for Walmart grocery pickup. And if you use that link for your first pickup or delivery service, you get $10 off your first order. And I'm also gonna leave my Misfits Market link down below. And if you use it, you're gonna get 25% off of your first box. If you'd like to connect on Instagram, my address is above. I'd love to hear from you. Well, I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and to click on that bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.